I'm doing it again, everyone. I'm doing more impressions because I like the practice and I like the content. Boy, I'd be pretty embarrassed if I was you. Don't worry, Mr. M. Uh, I had a similar problem when I acquired Ripley's gum. You should just buy more stocks. Blah. Well, when the American public found out I'd been filling my peanuts up with toxic pesticides, I went on the Dick Cavett show and I did a little peanut jig. That's what you live a peanut jig of her own, yes. A peanut jig of her own, yes. Well, I don't know what that peanut or that man over there is saying, but I think you should win back the marketplace with a more competitive business model. Oh, Pim, that's wonderful. Here, let me show you where the good stuff is. So, you see, I usually just go in there and pick some crap up off the floor. Uh-huh. Wait! One more friend. Whatever you do, don't go beyond the rickety bridge. Because you'll get lost! Hello, but if I don't get my job back on the Mr. Frog Show, I'll lose it all. <laughs> Hello. Take my blood, for example. I wish somebody would. This stuff is killing me! Holy crap! A ballad already? And such a bold departure from the original source material. Why did I think you could do this? This one simple thing. It's like I'm talking to a monkey. A really, really big, stupid monkey named Crunk. And you want to know something else? I've never liked your spinach pups. Never. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. And I'm walking into the school building, and who do I see but Jake McNamara. And he says to me, Hey, were you at my party on Saturday? And I said, no. You know, like a liar. Get in the boat, boy. <laughs> Thank God you found this message. I've been trapped in the laundry dimension. And there's only one way for me to get out. See, what you have to do is... Oh, God, they're here! No! Ah! You know who else got trapped in the laundry dimension? <laughs>